you're looking at a BNK Precision 3017A 2 MHz sweep function generator. Its purpose is to provide um, signals from audio up through the 2 MHz RF range uh, that are sinusoidal, triangular, or square wave in function. Uh, and it does it in a range starting at uh, a 1 Hz. Uh, Actually, it would be variable 0 to 2 point something hertz, but that's a 1 hertz range switch. 10 hertz range switch, 100, 1000 hertz, 10,000 hertz, 100,000 hertz, and a 1 meg range. Then, there's uh, a vernier dial that uh, allows you to adjust the, uh, the frequency in between. some audio coming out of a an old Heathkit signal tracer that I have here so that's a little bit of a hump your, your hearing is from that okay so uh, what I want to do is to show you that um, you've got multiple instruments in one with an instrument like this um, for instance I have an audio signal generator I just select an audio range let's say uh, 1000 and as you hear we're sweeping through an audible signal range that goes up to about 2000 Hertz here from about 10 to about 2000 so if I was to go to 10,000 Hertz then we're going from about 10 Hertz to 20 kilohertz in just a couple of seconds. So we could test the uh, frequency response. We could test the frequency response of an amplifier that we built on a bench or or one that we purchased and uh, and we could determine whether or not that amplifier was capable of producing a flat frequency response. Um, so that's on the sweep range. Now if I take the sweep setting off and I go ahead and throw my I can select whatever frequency I want. Let's see if we look up here at my... Right now I'm running about uh, 140 hertz, 170... 200 hertz. We can expand our scale here a little bit, just a little bit slower. To respond. One kilohertz coming out of that unit. You're listening to that awful screeching noise coming from the tracer in the back, and we have a one kilohertz trace in here. So there you have a uh, an auto audio signal generator. Now all we have to do is uh, go up into the upper ranges and we've now gone into the um, up to 2 megahertz range. So we've covered the entire AM radio band. And, uh, and we can either be selectable with the frequency we want just by turning the dial. Or we can have it sweep through the range again and you could test the frequency uh, response of say a tuned circuit. Uh, so you can see whether a bandpass uh, is working properly or maybe a uh, notch filter or uh, any kind of an LRC circuit could be tested with this kind of a generator. It's an excellent tool to have on a bench because it does so many different functions. This one, uh, you can vary the sweep time, make it go sweep through the entire cycle or range. <laughs> Just by changing this particular dial setting, 
I change the rate at which we sweep through the frequency range. So you got the idea. Um, we have three different outputs. We have a square wave signal, square wave, triangle wave, and sine wave. And that would be an example of the the function part of the function generator. We're going to turn off my little tracer back here so we don't have to listen to that noise anymore. Um, once again, very flexible unit. I think you'll be very happy with it. As you can see, I'm going to give you as close a view as I can. Front panel is very clean, no scratches. I'll turn the unit around here. Absolutely uh, few, if any. We got a little little surface uh, scratch here with some that could actually, I think, be rubbed out. A little mar here. Basically, this unit is in extremely good shape. Okay, so now you've had a taste of uh, what a, a signal sweep generator can do like this. As far and uh, this thing extends right up through the radio range. So I've set up something uh, of an experiment here. And what I have is this little orange device uh, right here on the table. And it's a, uh, a 455 kilohertz ceramic resonator. Uh, it's used in radio circuitry, uh, 455 kilohertz happens to be the IF frequencies of a great many uh, receivers. And, uh, and I've got the scope connected here so we can see the uh, uh, output. Uh, we can take a look here. There we go. And um, what I'm going to do, that's the output of the uh, frequency generator right now. We're running in the, uh, on the one meg range setting. And we're going to turn our dial, uh, we're up roughly right now, uh, about 455 kilocycles. So what we're going to watch as I'm adjusting my dial. And we take a look at the scope. And as I raise the frequency slowly, you're going to see this thing peek out. I'll do it again. It peeks out because there's a resonant frequency of this thing. And uh, as I hit that resonant frequency, the signal becomes large. We're going to take a look again. Right now it's uh, setting at the large setting. And I'll sweep past it and you'll see it drop. Yeah. Alright. So now, if I throw the sweep generator on sweep mode, and we can see that the scope is monitoring the action for us, and now we can see the sweep without having to touch the dial. And we see the reaction on the screen. So that's the uh, function of a sweep generator. It'll act as an RF signal generator. And it'll sweep. Act as an audio generator. So you've got a number of tools to use for your bench. Right there. 
That's a, uh, a 2.03 megahertz wave coming out of that unit. And uh, it's in great shape. There's no major scratches on it. The handle works. The face plate is in great shape. All the knobs and dials work. So, comes with a cord. I'll give you the test lead. And uh, plus I have uh, a calibration manual and uh, schematics and parts list. So, thanks for listening. Bye.